Step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive this ever. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... Oh, what's going... Lark. Oh, Flark. They've got the Cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. That sound like you're not coming with us. These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. Sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mic. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? He has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. In the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found her. Yeah, you missed a lot. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. I am good. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. <sighs> my shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? Kind 
of glad Loop the Loop stayed on Lamentis. My ears were ringing from all her nonsense. I prefer Mantis' nonsense to Warlocks. The Golden Man is perfectly intelligible. Sure, his words make sense. I'm just having trouble with all the pathos. Yeah, like, what's with the dramatic wardrobe change? Who sleeps in a cocoon and owns a cape? Hmm. Capes are nice. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? My meager what? Your meager metal. We stand against an adversary unlike any before. Blinded by burning, hope-fueled hate. Magus, right, your evil twin. That's our adversary. Before such a blaze, still a stooge may steer. But your wide-eyed wonder is merely wit and moxie. You strut as an insecure cock uncertain of his stature. Does that mean what I think it means? This audacity acts as stilts on sand as the tide thralls you in. Leading must be wrought off the fullness of your yearning yoke. Will it be so? Yes, absolutely. Wise words, sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes, an oath. Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive and... and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. That's good enough for me. Rodent. You mentioned the Madonna riding my shoulders through the caves. Yep. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cake. What's a yo-yo? Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. Would a wanton hand supply sustenance to this chamber? He's asking for room service now? Come get your own! We've got a full fridge! Well, not exactly full. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on. It was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. 
The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, we'll save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Let's see what we can make with the parts you've got. Got you covered. Oof, got a crick in my back because of that. Cosmo? It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Regiments, while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. So, what happens if we find Goldie, but he's all beat up? Then we place him in a safe location until we can tend to his wounds. I think he means what if he's dead. Yeah, that. And we place him in a safe location until we can give him a proper burial. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save your girl. I, I know it's important to you. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kind of understood that. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. 
Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. <laughs> Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to Nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the church must be stopped. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki. Peter? Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? What now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! some backbone here. My backbone is showing. No, no, I, I mean, we've got more power and speed than these goons, so there's no need to be afraid of them. Who's with me? You are Seriously, Peter? Better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill them for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. 
Never was Lamont's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. This mission is about saving Nikki. It'll be a real shame if Cosmo bought into the promise, but like we said in Lamentis, if we cure her, we cure everybody. What kind of promise could they offer a dog anyway? A nice game of fetch. Exactly. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does a pe- Lord here. Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Oh, I really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! But so many of them! I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone giving them anything for free. <laughs> well, I gotta believe some of them stood up against the church. They call themselves outlaws for Flark's sake. They got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hell's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. Okay. I think we got the drop on these guys. Said that they were bringing. They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. Suppose we could try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. I'm surprised the church was able to seize the cortex. Seemed pretty secure last time. Eh, wasn't half as secure as the dog thought. The church's forces increased. <laughs> Superior numbers could have easily breached the defenses. Well, we got just the five of us. Filling us all with confidence there, big guy. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of- Whoa! Peter! Well, that didn't work. I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. You think you can anchor to this, Gamora? Guess we'll find out. I had a contact here, rotations ago. You did? Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving.
I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Which part? He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. About how Nikki and that Magus thing might be too intertwined to save her. Okay, okay. Gotta make a passage here. There's been no sign of Goldie Braun since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. The Warlock carries an old grudge. He would not align himself with the Grappling Fire. Golden Boy for anyways. We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. My memory is flawless. I'm just an optimist. Ha. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's your eyes ahead. Whoa. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign. Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Oh yeah? Never saw me coming, that's for sure. Had no idea I'd bust through it out of there. I am a lord. <laughs> Hero? <laughs> Don't get all mushy on me now. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Yeah, the Cortex could handle that on its own. <laughs> what? It was a good pun. No, it really wasn't. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flark and family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. Fool, so 
Mike, that floating freak's fixing up the rest! The sorcerer protects the rest! I, I got all these of you! Let's do that to him! Where's the tide, Chris? There are more arriving! Quick, we found some blocking hover bikes! No fear! He's boosting everyone but us! Show us some muscle! <laughs> 